following portion of Bloom is sponsored by Ewing Publishing. Welcome back to Bloom. The journey of love can be challenging. However, it is based upon commitment and determination. Our next guest can share hope. Joining us now is Carol Scott, who is the author of Lost Without Him. Welcome to Bloom, Carol. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's great to have you. So Carol, why did you decide to write the book? Well, <clears throat> when my husband passed away, um, in 2016, all of the nieces and nephews and other members of the family wanted uh, me to tell them about how we managed to stay together for nearly 50 years. We'd had multiple divorces in the family. And so um, I sat down and started the story of our life together and the time he spent in Vietnam. Yeah, and I and speaking of which, your marriage survived the Vietnam War you say it survived jealousy and many other obstacles along the way. Can you tell us more about that? Right. right. Well, um, Paul was short uh, money for his uh, second semester junior year of college, and he had to drop out to earn the money. And when he dropped out, he lost his deferment and he got drafted, and then they sent him to Vietnam. It's the first time we'd been separated since we'd met. and. A lot of firsts for him, first time he ever flew and that kind of stuff. But uh, it was scary. I was afraid all the time that he was there. And uh, But he wrote to me every day, uh, sometimes two or three times a day. I never went a day without a letter the whole 19 months he was gone. Oh, that's really, really beautiful. You know, you talk about your relationship with your father being complex. Did that have an influence on your book as well? Well, both of our backgrounds were different. Paul's father was a Baptist minister, but they were poor. Um, we were poor as well, but my father was an alcoholic and he was abusive and um, it was a frightening environment for a young person to grow up in. And, you know, there were times when, I mean, I, I was gonna smash his head in with a hammer at one point, finally had him down on the floor and straddled him, um, but my mother stopped me. Wow, I, I, and I know that your book um, has been getting a lot of positive attention, including an award for best biography from Pacific Book Awards. So that must right. make you feel really great. What is the takeaway for the viewer? Well, I think that, that everything in the book, whether it's growing up in a challenging, poor environment, if, whether it's courtship, whether it's uh, devoting our lives to our Lord and to the church, all the problems that we had, um, we managed to overcome them because we were Christians and we tried to live biblically. And uh, we learned at one point that there was almost nothing worth fighting about, so we just quit doing it. So look, quickly, we only have seconds left, but what's next for you? Are you going to continue writing? I don't know. I think I only had one book in me <laughs> and I, mean, I never intended to become an author. It just sort of happened. Well, I'm glad you did. I know uh, a lot of folks are going to draw inspiration from your books and just by you being so candid and sharing your stories, your personal stories, it'll help others. Carol, thank you so much for joining us on Bloom today. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate it. And for more information about Carol Scott and the book Love Without Him, you can visit carolscutt.com. We'll be back with more Bloom right after this, so stick around. The preceding portion of Bloom was sponsored by Ewing Publishing.